<coughs> hey guys, welcome to your uh, three, next three months reading for Capricorn. Um, this is going to be for your September, October, and November. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. So um, first we're going to take a look and see, um, you know, what the overall theme for the next three months for you guys is, okay? Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to take a look and see, you know, what you can expect for each individual month. So apply this to your own situations. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations, and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that I guess get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Capricorn. What messages do we have here for Capricorn? Capricorn for the next three months. What does Capricorn need to know for the next three months here? We have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. I mean, some of you guys could be stepping into this really creative energy at this time here, uh, uh, Capricorn. Okay, we have the world. There could be something that's coming to a close here. I mean, you guys, you guys could be, you know, in this energy of just kind of like you're on the spiritual journey here, just finding yourself, finding yourself, uh, finding who you are at this time here. Okay. Yeah, it seems like you guys are getting a boost of confidence here. You guys are moving towards you. The door of healing and happiness at this time. So there could be a strong focus in your healing at this time. Some of you guys could be unblocking your chakras here at this time. We have door to spirit. So I feel like you guys could be re releasing unhealthy attachments and stepping through the doors of personal happiness and healing and door to spirit here. So I feel like some of you guys could be forming a strong bond with spirit, a, forming a strong bond with yourself at this time here, Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn. What else do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn for September. Capricorn for September. Capricorn for September. Capricorn for September. We have the Two of Swords, okay. And also the Two of Wands. Okay, you have some big decisions to make here. Yeah, I, I do feel like there's something that's keeping you stuck here. You know, feeling like you're not moving forward, feeling like you're not creative here. But I feel like you're actively making a decision for yourself to sort of like step away from the stuck energy here and move towards happiness and healing here at this time, moving towards spirit or connecting with spirit at this time here. What else do we have here for Capricorn? We also have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Wheel, Sagittarius energy. One of the things I'm getting here with the Knight of Wands here, and there's the energy of definitely just going forward here, okay? I feel like this is a final decision that you're making here, okay? This is a very decisive decision that you're making here, and I feel like it will change everything in a way where I feel like balance, uh, karma will start to balance out for you guys at this time here. We have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Wheel, Sagittarius energy, and the Justice card, Libra energy. Let's see what else we have here with the five of pentacles with the six of pentacles and also the nine of swords in the devil card here wow there's a huge energetic shift that's happening here for you guys some of you guys have been sitting in this devil energy for a long time some of you guys have been sitting in this energy of just being stressed out and being anxious all the time here just worrying about money here worrying about everything here and you feel like that energy is shifting here okay I feel like that energy is shifting here. I do feel like some of you guys could be unblocking your chakras here at this time, like I said. The Devil card, Capricorn energy. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Tell me about Capricorn in October. Tell me about Capricorn in October. Tell me about Capricorn in October. We have the Two of Cups. 
we also have the four of cups. We have a lot of choose here. There's a lot of decisions being made here. Yeah, there's a lot of decisions being made here, and I feel like this is these decisions that you're making here is about you here. You know, it's about you making changes here. It's about you evolving, growing spiritually and personally at this time. The Two of Cups here and the Four of Cups. Also, you know, the Two of Cups here and the Four of Cups, there could be someone here coming into your life romantically here that's making you an offer. Here is the thing. You know, I feel like it's really important for you to trust your intuition here, Capricorn. Some of you guys might be blocking that out, okay? Now, also with the uh, High Priestess in the reverse, somebody here could be re revealing their true feelings here towards you when it comes to romance. And this could be a long-distance relationship that you're in here, Capricorn. What else do we have here for Capricorn? We have the Magician, Gemini Virgo. Gemini Virgo here. And you're in this energy of definitely master manifesting here, making something happen, okay? Creating the life that you want here. Like I said, I feel like there's a huge energetic shift that's happening for you guys at this time. What else do we have? We have the Queen of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy, the King of Wands here, and also the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers. Yeah, there's new love that's coming into your life. Perhaps this energetic shift is bringing in new love into your life here. Perhaps that's the happiness that you guys are experiencing, okay? And I feel like this connection that you might be stepping into could also be a very healing connection here too. With the King to Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini energy with the lovers here. Yeah, some of you guys could be meeting your soulmate. I feel like this energetic shift is bringing in your soulmate here, Capricorn. So I feel like your soulmate could be coming in during October. Tell me about Capricorn in November. What's going on with Capricorn in November? We have the Eight of Wands here and the Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands here. Okay. We also have the Five of Swords here and the Three of Cups. All right. You know, I feel like with the Eight of Wands here, you know what, in the eight, eight of Wands here, in the Ace of Wands here, there's a sense of moving forward here. You know, you could be putting yourself first at this time here. I feel like you guys are surrounding yourself with certain people that bring in good energy into your life here. Another thing here I'm getting here at this masculine that you're meeting here has plans, big plans for you here when it comes to romance. You know, some of you guys could be traveling. Some of you here is romanticizing about you, fantasizing about you here. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person definitely wants to put in the hard work into this relationship here. Like I said, I feel like this huge energetic shift, this decision that you're making here, Capricorn, is bringing in your soulmate at this time here. You know, I do feel like you guys are going through a huge release. Yeah, I do feel like there's a new beginning that's happening here. Okay, in love. Some of you guys could be starting a new beginning here when it comes to work. Uh, some of you guys could be starting a new business here, but I feel like the great things are happening for you as you make this decision This decision to make this energetic shift for yourself. And I feel like new things, such as a new soulmate, is coming into your life. So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.